Just last week, the air felt unseasonably mild for December. Robins foraged in gardens, their red breasts bright against the green grass. Many of us thought this winter might be gentle, a letdown for those dreaming of a white Christmas. But nature is the master of surprise, rarely following our expectations. This gentle start is a mask. Behind it, a colossal atmospheric event is brewing high above. The Met Office has issued a significant alert, something is coming that could flip our winter on its head. This isn't just a forecast for frost, this is a warning of a major cold spell that could disrupt daily life. Think back to the great freezes of the past snowdrifts, frozen pipes, the country grinding to a halt. These events are cyclical, they can and do return. The mild days we're enjoying are the perfect setup for a dramatic shift. It's the quiet before the storm. Scientists are tracking a rapid warming event over the Arctic, with powerful impacts on our weather. This isn't folklore, this is hard data and sophisticated models. The message is clear. Enjoy the mild spell while it lasts, because a dramatic change is gathering momentum. The signs are there if you know where to look. High up in the stratosphere, the beast may be about to awaken. What is this threat? It's called a Sudden Stratospheric Warming, or SSW. About 30 kilometers above the North Pole, a powerful ribbon of wind, the stratospheric polar vortex, spins, keeping Arctic cold locked away. An SSW is a rapid dramatic temperature increase in this frigid part of the atmosphere. In days, temperatures can soar by 50 degrees Celsius, shocking the system and disrupting the polar vortex. When the vortex breaks down, the cold air it contained can spill southwards across the northern hemisphere. This isn't gradual cooling, it's an invasion of frigid air, moving towards North America, Asia and Europe. Paradoxically, a warming event high up leads to extreme cold below. There's a time lag, about two weeks, between the SSW and the arrival of cold weather at the surface. This delay gives forecasters time to issue warnings, and gives us time to prepare. The SSW is the first domino in a chain reaction that can bring winter's fury to our doorstep. Once the polar vortex is broken, where does the cold air go? For the UK and Europe, the threat comes from the east. Normally westerly winds from the Atlantic keep our winters mild. An SSW disrupts this, often building high pressure over Scandinavia, a blocking high that shuts the door to mild air. Instead, icy winds from Siberia sweep in, picking up moisture over the North Sea and delivering heavy snow to eastern UK and Europe. The Met Office now says there's a 70% chance of a major cold spell by late December. The sequence, stratospheric warming, vortex breakdown, blocking high, easterly winds, is well understood. We're in the two-week waiting period, watching as the pieces fall into place. The models are in agreement, a severe winter blast is likely. The question is not if, but when and how hard it will hit. The stage is set for winter's fury. Beast from the East isn't just a term, it's a memory. In early 2018, a major SSW triggered a Siberian Express that brought chaos to the UK. Schools closed, transport seized up, and drivers were stranded for hours. Trains and flights were cancelled, and the cold was relentless, 10 days below freezing somewhere in the UK. The human cost was real. Deaths, stretched emergency services, and a billion pound daily economic hit. But there was also community spirit, neighbors helping each other, strangers pushing cars from snowdrifts. The 2018 event exposed our vulnerabilities, transport, energy, supply chains. It reminded us that, despite technology, we're still at the mercy of the weather. As we face a similar threat, these memories are more than stories. They're a blueprint for what to expect. The lessons of 2018 are clear. Prepare early, help each other, and respect the power of winter. The past is our warning. Will we heed it? How does this developing 2025 event compare to 2018's Beast from the East? The similarities are striking and concerning. Both were triggered by powerful stratospheric warming, reversing the polar vortex winds. The key difference is timing. 2018's SSW hit in February. This one is happening in December. 
An earlier SSW means the cold could arrive over Christmas and New Year, disrupting travel, gatherings and supply chains. The snowpack in Siberia is just as deep as in 2018, making the source of cold air potent. The SSW is the trigger. The blocking high will steer the cold air's path. A slight shift in the high's position could mean a glancing blow or a direct hit for the UK. Forecasters are watching this closely, but the models suggest a pattern very similar to 2018. The parallels are strong enough to warrant the highest level of alert. We must be ready for a repeat. Or worse. With the SSW in full swing, what's next? The first week will be a transition. Winds shifting, temperatures dropping, frosts returning. The real drama is forecast for the week before Christmas, as high pressure over Scandinavia opens the freezer door from Siberia. Bitterly cold easterly winds will sweep across Europe, bringing rapid temperature drops and heavy snow, especially to northern and eastern regions. The UK's east coast will be first to feel the chill, with significant snow showers likely. Even the west will be bitterly cold. Temperatures may not rise above freezing by day, and could plunge to minus 10 at night. A white Christmas is a real possibility. Southern Europe won't escape. Blocking highs could steer storms south, bringing rain and mountain snow. The entire continent will feel the effects of this atmospheric upheaval. No one will be untouched. Winter is coming for all. This isn't about panic, it's about preparation. Use this window wisely. Check your heating, service your boiler, and insulate pipes. For your car, check tires, top up antifreeze, and pack a winter emergency kit. Only travel if essential. Many were stranded in 2018 by underestimating conditions. Most importantly, look after people, Check on elderly or vulnerable neighbors and family. Make sure they're warm, have food, and can access medication. Community spirit is our greatest strength. Stock up on non-perishable food, torches, and batteries in case of power cuts. Dig out warm clothing and sensible footwear. These are small common sense steps. Taking them now means you'll face the freeze with confidence, not anxiety. Preparation is power. Let's use it. Not every SSW leads to a beast from the east. Sometimes the cold air stays locked away. But this December's event is different. The signals are unusually strong and the polar vortex has fully reversed. All major weather models agree, a sustained period of severe cold is likely for the UK and Northern Europe. The Met Office's 70% probability reflects this confidence. The chance of a fizzle is now low. The SSW has already happened, the dominoes are falling. We're in the crucial waiting period, watching how the atmosphere responds. While a last minute swerve is possible, it's not likely. The evidence points to a breakdown of normal patterns and a bitterly cold air mass from the east. This is as serious as weather warnings get. We stand at a critical juncture. The mild weather is ending. An atmospheric battle has been fought and the consequences are coming. This SSW alert is a clear warning from nature translated by science. The memories of 2018 are our guide, showing what's possible and what's at stake. This time we have a timely warning and the knowledge of what happened before. Will we use this time to prepare? Pay close attention to forecasts and advice. Think about your local risks. Are you in a rural spot or on a hill? This isn't about fear, but respect for nature's power. Whether this becomes a historic event or a less severe cold snap, it's a reminder of our place in the climate system. Enjoy the last mild days, but get ready. Check on neighbors, lag your pipes, and prepare for a memorable, possibly very white Christmas. Winter is coming.